Hi everyone. Now we will learn how we can search in MySQL database table in Laravel project. So first we will create a search form and this search form we will create on the top of this table. We are not going to create any new page so that we can uh, uh, search and display the result only on the single page, right? After that we will create route and controller function. We will search and display the data in this table and at last we will discuss some important interview question also. This is the playlist for Laravel 11 tutorials and that will definitely help you out for Laravel project, job and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. Alright, so first let's create a search form on this list page and for that I am going to open this list student.blade.php and on the top of this I am creating a, a get form. So whenever we are storing or inserting data that time the method should be post but if we are getting the data it can be in the any form maybe in the form of search or maybe in the form of list that time we should use the get method only and inside this let me use one more input field and uh, we can add the placeholder for this and the placeholder can be let's say search with name or something yeah and after that we can create one more button there and let's add a text there search all right and then we have to add there the action also so i will create a route with the name of search there all right the next thing is we have to create a route for this so let's go to the web.php and i'm creating one more route for this route get and there we can provide the path for route which is search and in the second parameter we will use their student controller colon colon class and then we will mention their search like this all right so now the next thing we have to create the search function inside the uh, student controller so let's go there now and let's create one more function just after the edit student function so function search and there see whenever we are uh, we want to get the data uh, with the form then we have to use their request class like this and with the almost every uh, not actually every with the add and uh, uh, with the edit we are using this request right so let me put this request so that we can get that form data and then request this is the parameter you can put any name to this parameter but this should be only the request because this is the class which, which we are importing whenever we are uh, creating the controller and you don't need to import it manually whenever controller is created by the laravel this is already imported okay so for a moment just return there dollar request and then search why search because we are sending the search uh, okay we have to just put the name also for uh, this field let me use their search so we are just sending the search field from there so we can use the search keyword there right and now let's see what we are getting and uh, let me refresh it now we have this input form if i just searching their anil then you can see that the request is going in the uh, url address bar because this is a get request and there we are getting the uh, search uh, value whatever we are putting uh, passing there so if i just put there sam then we are getting there sam so this is perfectly working fine the next thing is we have to get the data according to the this search result from the database so there i am taking a student data variable right and then we can use their student colon colon where this is the method that we can use for search and there we have to put the put the field name obviously we are searching for the name only right there so this field will not uh, work with the email and phone it will work only on the name because we want to search only on the behalf of name as i mentioned there search with name okay so there in the second parameter put the like like means uh, so let's say only one character is matching in the name still this will be visible so then you can use double m percent and inside this just use their request and then 
search after that we have to use the get method like this and now you can return this dollar student data all right yeah so now let's refresh this and now you can see that we are getting the data for the sam so let's say if i'm just searching for the a then uh, there should be three result because a is starting at the anil mid at the sam and mid in the Bhaskar also if i just search there there you can see that again we got the three results so the next thing is we have to display these results on the ui so what we can do there here you can see that for list we are using this list student and same thing we can do there also right so what we can do there just use uh, view and view name is uh, list student then we have to pass an array there so that we can pass data from controller to the view and then uh, it can be let's say student students actually it should be the same whatever we are passing in the list right so student and then student data we can pass there and we are uh, okay so this is basically a variable and it should be used with the fat arrow or you can say that like this arrow all right okay so now let's see is it working or not so if i just refresh it now you can see that we have only three data if i just search with the anil we have only one data and if i search with the s then still we have only three data because s is present in the sam bhaskar and this and if i for example i'm searching for uh, let's say peter pete only then you can see that pete result is there so this is perfectly working fine but see whenever i'm searching something so let's say i'm search with the anil and click on the search function result is there but user may will not get to know like what he searched there so for that what we can do uh, there we will pass one more parameter with the name of search and there we will pass the data from dollar request to uh, search like this right and now this search variable should be used as a value there so in this field i can just simply use value double curly braces close and open and close then search and you will find that this is perfectly working fine if i just search for sam still working search for just a still working fine but there is a issue so if i just search go to the list then you will find search is not available because see we are passing this search only in the case of search there right but this student list also used with the uh, you can see that list and there we are not passing any search variable so what we can do there so if this is undefined and if we don't want to show error then you can put there at the rate and now you'll see this is perfectly working fine and now search there this is here you can see that for everything this is working fine right so that's all for this part and if you just go on the list page this is still perfect so that's all for this part if you still have any data any uh, sorry if you have any confusion any issue query you can ask me in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video share your feedback in comment section and this is my paytm number for donation thanks guys